Good evening, brothers and sisters in Christ. I wanted to share an older video that I did back in November of 2018. The Lord had just put upon my heart a couple days ago about Galatians chapter 1, verse 15. Now, this is um, Paul, the apostle, talking to the church of uh, Galatia. And the Lord had put this on my heart. See, I put the date there. Um, I do that sometimes when he lays something upon my heart so that I don't forget it. Um, but I did a video back in November 2018 about um, the Gentiles um, being grafted in uh, with the promises uh, to the Jews that God had promised them. So I want to share this with you. Um, it says, But when it pleased God, who separated me from my mother's womb and called me through his grace to reveal his son in me, that I might preach him among the Gentiles, I did not immediately confer with flesh and blood, nor did I go up to Jerusalem to those who were apostles before me, but I went to Arabia and returned again to Damascus. So the Lord had led me back to that older video, and I'll add the link to that. It's, a, it's approximately 10 minutes long, and it goes over uh, Romans chapter 11, verses 11 to 36, which is Israel's rejection, not final. Um, also, Revelation chapter 7, verse 9 and 10, speaking of the remnant. Also, uh, John chapter 15, verse 1, speaking of Jesus being the vine. Um, so I wanted to share with you what he added to this and kind of tied it all in for me. Isn't the Holy Spirit amazing? So let's go to Ephesians chapter 2, verse 11 to 18. The Holy Bible, the Holy Word of God is um, so full of amazing little nuggets of knowledge. So let's read here about brought near by his blood. Therefore, remember that you, once Gentiles in the flesh, who are called uncircumcision by what is called the circumcision made in the flesh by hands, that at that time you were without Christ being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ. I'm going to go on a little bit further just because I think that these scriptures are powerful. Christ our peace, for he himself is our peace who has made both one and has broken down the middle wall of separation having abolished in his flesh the enmity that is the law of commandments contained in ordinances so as to create in himself one new man from the two, thus making peace, and that he might reconcile them both to God in one body through the cross, thereby putting to death the enmity. And he came and preached peace to you who were far off and to those who were near, for through him we both have access by one Spirit, meaning the Holy Spirit, to the Father. Isn't that powerful? <laughs> I don't know. It's just super cool when the Holy Spirit um, leads and prompts. So he, he, he basically tied it all in, um, which is cool. And if you go to Ephesians 3, it's speaking about the mystery revealed. For this reason, I, Paul, the prisoner of Christ Jesus, for you Gentiles, if indeed you have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God, which was given to me for you, how that by revelation he made known to me the mystery, as I have briefly written already, by which when you read, you may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ, which in other ages was not made known to the sons of men as it has now been revealed by the Spirit, Holy Spirit, to his holy apostles and prophets, that the Gentiles should be fellow heirs of the same body and partakers of the, 
his promise in Christ through the gospel, of which I became a minister according to the gift of the grace of God given to me by the effective working of his power. Isn't that amazing? I just love how the Holy Spirit reveals these truths to us, you know. So I hope this blesses you, and um, I'm going to add uh, the link to my older videos so you can watch that. And um, I, I do pray this blesses you in the name of Jesus Christ and that his peace that surpasses all understanding be with you and that you be divinely guided and protected in Jesus' holy name. Amen.